course I don't want to help Jack out, but the truth is I'd do it if I knew it was something she really wanted. So ask her. I can't ask her if she wants a surprise party. That would ruin the surprise. So don't ask her. Okay, odds I ask her, evens I don't. Ready? One, two, three. Evens. All right. Oh, wild thumbs, he's got to do it. <laughs> hey. Hi. You know, back home the day before a young lady's birthday, it was customary for her to kiss the first person who did this. <gasps> be me. Huh, <laughs> Too bad we're not in Virginia. <laughs> what do they do where you came from? Oh, I'm not really a birthday person. It just seems so self-serving. I don't know what it is. Just not a birthday person. Really? I love them. I think my favorite birthday ever was when we did a circus theme. You know, everybody came as a clown or an acrobat. We already had a pinhead and a bearded lady in the family. <laughs> You know, those bases were all covered. <laughs> my uncle gave pony rides. My mom had ice cream cake, balloons. We played spin the bottle, Red Rover, Red Rover. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, it was. Party was cut short because I had to drive Wileen up here to school. <laughs> Tell me you wouldn't want a birthday like that. I don't know. I'm just not much of a birthday person. Oh, really? Well, that's the third time you said I'm not much of a birthday person. That's because I'm not. Where are you going? The class. Bye. Bye. She wants a cheer. Hey, Leonard. Sorry, I'm late with these. Oh. Gee, you look a little glum. Er. Are you okay? I've just been fired. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Oh, I know what you're going through. You've been fired before? Do you have anything else lined up? Not really. 18th century New England footwear is a pretty narrow area of expertise. Well, I'm sure things will work out for you, Leonard. Thanks. Hey, you want to have a glass of wine with me? Well, I don't want to keep you from anything. No, I don't have any plans. I was just going to go home and make dinner. Well, I'm really not in the... I mean, you don't want to. I wouldn't be very good. Is it a dry wine? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a nice dry Chardonnay, Leonard. I'll get the cups. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. My publisher. Okay. So, what were you saying? I, oh, I, uh, yeah, I know. I, I, I know. I know. Believe me, I'm working all the time on the book. Uh-huh. Uh, God, no, I'm putting off important personal things. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, then I guess, uh... I, Great. I, I guess, I guess that I will talk to you on Monday. Hey, nice couch. Yeah. Um, uh, Joy and I, we we bought it one weekend when we were in Amish country. Incredible craftsman. Yeah. You know? I mean, it was just so nice just waking up under a pile of those comforts. Hey, hey, hey! All I said was nice couch. You know, there's there's really no need to be hostile. I mean, remember, this isn't about me. This isn't about you. It's about Joy. I know. Okay. Now, first, let's uh, let's talk about food and music. I can cover both with one word: salsa. <laughs> Boy, before this gets ahead, why don't we do this? I'll take care of the food, and you take care of the music. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. fine. Okay, this is the, uh, the guest list that I put together. Am I missing anybody? Only all of our friends. Who are these people? It's my publisher, the department head's President Butterfield. Oh, gee, all your friends at her party. What are you going to get her for Christmas, a subscription to Playboy? <laughs> Well, who else would you add to this list? Oh, I don't know. Tasha Wiley. Tasha and Wiley? They're her friends, Jack. Aren't they more your friends, Boyd? Now, isn't that the pot calling the kettle taupe? <laughs> Look at this list. You would think this is your party. This isn't about you. Yeah, and it isn't about you. Yeah, it's about, about joy. joy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you ever 
never let anyone wear these. Oh, no. Those are valuable university property. But wouldn't it be fun? <laughs> it's very much against the rules. I could lose my... What the hell do I care? <laughs> You're about a size six, right? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, everyone, in the closet. Come on. Come on, get the lights. <laughs> Are you sure you heard the lobby door? Oh, yes, absolutely. And I hear her shoes on the carpet, her lipstick banging her compact in her purse, and... If I am not mistaken, that gurgling in her stomach tells me she's ready for cake. Well, I know I'm ready for a drink. Oh, oh, I am getting claustrophobic. Ed, that's not a sink. <laughs> okay, who club dusted the room? I don't know. What time did you tell her to be here? What time did I tell her to be here? You didn't tell her. Wait a minute. You mean Joy's not out shopping with a friend who's gonna bring her by here later? See, frickin' frat, she wouldn't know what time to come to her own surprise party because it's a surprise. You know what? I would apologize if it were my fault, but I made Boyd the de facto party planner. Well, you're the selfish boyfriend. No, no, you blew this, Boyd. This is about you. I don't think so. You're the monkey under the sheets. Ha, ha, ha! This is about you, monkey. <laughs> you two can think about yourselves it's not about either one of you it's about joy joy, joy. joy. <laughs> where the hell is she get over here wench me parrot wants to talk to you <laughs> You know, <laughs> tomorrow's my birthday. <laughs> it's 12.15. It is tomorrow. <laughs> Happy birthday, Joy. <laughs> oh, God. Could this be any more fun? <laughs> yes. Surprise! <laughs> Primetime comedy soars all morning long. Back-to-back -back episodes of Wings are coming up next. Part of USAM. Primetime comedy in the morning on USA Network.